How you doing guys? This is Skull Basher here. I'm going to give you a walkthrough of my vehicle, my zombie response vehicle. Of course, uh, in all zombie responses, you got to be able to protect your vehicle. So, here we have uh, the barbed wire placed on the bumper. Looks like we've caught a, caught a couple. And uh, we're also going to have our, our weapon stash. We have to let people know that zombies aren't allowed. We have the firearms. We have the blunt weapons. We even have a little uh, zombie in the background. If you give me just a second, I'll uh, turn him on for you. Evidently, we killed him pretty good. He's not moving at all right now. So. But when you want to let other people know where they can get help from, you gotta you gotta sort of light it up. And uh, up here we have our emergency light. As you can see, the vehicle has been attacked numerous, numerous times. I've got all the blood on me. Uh, we try to keep it uh, as violent as possible. Actually, I love violence. As we move on down, just stay over here for just a second. I'll let you see. As you see, you gotta. Protect yourself from the zombies getting into your vehicle. So we, of course we have our wire mesh on. <laughs> As we further continue down, uh, one of them, I like me, I, I like to take trophies. I'm a headhunter, I love trophies. Further on down, of course you gotta have your firearms. You have to have your machine guns and uh, this this little fellow right here, this is George. George has been with, stuck to my truck for over a year and with the Constantina barbed wire on here, I'm not about to remove it. We've taken a couple of George's arms and used them as our windshield wipers. Uh, caught another a zombie eye, I see. But, uh, for the Skull Basher Zombie Response Vehicle, that, that's pretty much what we have. It's safe, it's dependable, it's durable, it's violent. <laughs> he actually has a sensor. <laughs> 